The final showdown event is the biggest event Fortnite has had to date. It's an epic battle between good versus bad, featuring Mecha and Kadas, and this time around, the event actually took place. After the volcano's eruption hit and cracked the iceberg during the last event in Season 9, a giant eye appeared inside the iceberg. Later on, whatever was inside broke out and took half of Polar Peaks with it. While previously the monster had not been seen, it was spotted swimming around the island in the ocean surrounding it. To defend the island, construction for a massive robot begun, that progressive got more complete as time went on. After a paint job, it got the head of a cuddle team leader, hands of Rex and Drift, and legs of Durburger and the Tomato Head. Miss you. Warning posters appeared across the island in various locations stating duck and hover, when danger strikes, take the high ground, and we can build it. A week before the final showdown, a timer appears stating the time of the event on top of all the sky platforms across the map. Moments before it took place, a new playlist showed up and it was announced on the news tab. Here's the event itself.
Once again, there were no challenges returning to the menu. However, jetpacks got unbolted for a limited time, and with the event came a bunch of stuff into the item shop. You could buy the Mecha Team Leader skin for 1600 V-Bucks, that has its own special emote built into it. Also, wrap, emotes for whichever side you support it, and give two different banners to your friends. After the event ended, the Combo Cleaver's Harvesting Tool and Floss, I mean, No Sweat emote got added to the roster. Skeleton from Cadiz turned into a POI, and there seems to be something going on with the orb in Loot Lake. I think it's pretty neat of a coincidence that the event happened to be on my birthday. And thank you everyone who has stuck around for the year this channel has existed. Yeah.